Okay, so when I was off camera, I went and I colored the background with the pink charcoal. And unfortunately, part of it broke because as I've said, even if you're careful, they tend to break a lot. But part of it broke. I colored the background with the pink. I'm going to do a little more shading with the pink. And then I'm going to go over it with the white charcoal to make the background look a little softer and a little less hard because I don't want it looking like pep, pep, pepto bismol pink so yeah I want it to look a little softer than that so I'm going to go over it with the white charcoal now if you want it to look like pep, pepto bismol pink you would just keep it this color but I don't so yeah I'm gonna go over it with the white but here it is. And I will show going over the background with the pink. Whoa. Okay. And does as I and as I said, I colored this in when I was off camera because it's, you know, a little bit easier. Because it's hard to do this and have the camera going at the same time. <laughs> at least it is for me. For other people it's not, but it is for me. So I usually do the stuff off camera. And then when it's done, I put it on the um, camera when it's completed or, you know, when I'm in the process of doing it. But, um, yeah, I don't actually usually film myself, uh, drawing this on camera. I just show what the picture looks like. But I'm pretty sure you guys are smart, so you guys get that. <laughs> Now, if you, it's easier for you to put it like up close to you. What you can do is this, where you take it off of that, and then you just put it on there. And you can do it like this, where it's up close. And then you just color it in until you get the desired color that you want. And until you're happy with it. And if you want it to look softer, you blend some white into it. And that'll make it look softer. If not, you just keep it this color. Okay, so that's good enough for me. So I'm going to put the white over it. So I'll put it back on here so you can see. Okay. And then what you'll do here is see how I'm... Damn, I hate it when it does that. softening
Now I'm going to blow it. <laughs> See, it softens it up a little. Which is what I want it to do. Because, again, I don't want it to look like, you know, pep Pepto Bismol. See the difference? I'll put it up here so you can see here. I used the white on this side, but I haven't used the white on this side yet. That's the difference. And now I'm going to start on this side. Take that down.
but see. So if you want to soften it up, that's what you do right there. Then that way it doesn't look like Pepto Abysmal. But if you, you know, want it to look like Pepto Abysmal pink, you don't use the white on top of it. Or even bright pink or hot pink. You don't use the white on it. But you can if you want to. But I wanted to soften it up, so I used the white on it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.